Good morning, y'all. I hope y'all had a good Mother's Day weekend. We did. We uh, had a lot of uh, food and family and all that good stuff. And I uh, I got a sweet little card um, that kind of gave me a fun idea of something just to show you. It's a simple watercolor card with a little sentiment at the top. And I thought, oh, these are so pretty. It's so um, it's something that you could make, uh, you know, on your own and just have a stockpile of cards just so that you can when the when it strikes you to give a gift or a little happy or a word of encouragement, you've got them on hand. So I'm not going to do exactly um, the one that I got, but um, I'm the, the sweet little watercolor card that I got did kind of um, give me this fun idea. So um, I've got some watercolor paper here. I've also got uh, some, a pencil paintbrush. This is a waterproof pen. Over here, I've got, this is a little um, calligraphy type pen. It's a brush pen. It's uh, made by Tombow. I will pull it. Let's see. Maybe I'll do it this way so that you can see. See that word? The F-U-D-E. don't know how to pronounce it correctly, but that is it. It's made by Tombow. They come in lots of different colors. I might be using the gray. I've also got the brown over here, so I might be using that as well. And then I've just got some watercolors over to the side too. So first off, we are going to get the size that we want. So we just Googled different envelope sizes so that we could, uh, you know, know that whatever we create is going to stick in an envelope. Um, we went ahead and drew it out based on the size that we want. So I'm just going to, this is again, this is just a uh, watercolor paper. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. A paper cutter would probably be a little bit better. All of our current paper cutters here at the studio, the little cutter part is gone. So we have to buy more of those. So I'm just using the scissors here. After you do one, then you can just use this as a template for some of the others. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to create four today. All right. So I'll just use this, trace it off here. And... All right, so I'll cut that. Let me go ahead and just draw several so that I've got my four. And then I'm going to walk you through how to do fun little watercolors and some lettering. Also, tagged at the top of this um, at the top of this post is a link for if you are interested in doing our um, our paint and praise project of the month club. It goes a little. We're showing you a little bit of watercolor and lettering. It goes a little bit deeper into. Um, into painting. Uh, if you are a lettering club member, you already have access to this, but we, um, we've just started this this month or, or a little bit last month where we are just pulling out a fun uh, painting and lettering lesson so that if you only have time for like one Thing a month, this is perfect for you. Uh, so be sure to check that out if you love just sitting down and creating. We have found there's just so much joy that comes from it, so much uh, peace and play that comes from just sitting down and creating. So y'all click that link every uh, every month. It is a new picture. So this month it's actually a really pretty butterfly. So all right, so I've got those two cut. I'm going to go ahead and do these two, and then we will start our drawing and lettering. Again, a paper cutter would probably be a lot better here, <laughs> but you got to use what you got. That's what I always try to encourage people. Use what you have. Don't let your, um, what you are limited to make you not create. If you don't have watercolor paper, you can maybe do something like this, um, with markers on regular cardstock or something. Okay. Don't let your lack of supplies keep you from creating. Okay. Never let that be an excuse. Okay. So we've got our four cards. All right. So. Let's just think we are going to draw over here on the left side. Um, just, you know, draw a little sentiment or not a sentiment, a little, a picture. So I'm going to do hearts over here on two of them. Just simple hearts. I'll do a simple heart over here. Tall and skinny so that I have room to write on my right side. With my a waterproof pen. So this is just a, um, this is a uniball pen. It is uh, waterproof. If you are not sure if yours is waterproof or not, all you have to do is scribble it on some paper, then take a paintbrush, like on a test paper, take a paintbrush and go over it. And if it doesn't turn to gray, if it stays still, then you know that it's waterproof. So it, as you can see, I just kind of did this multiple times 
lots of little sketchy lines. Okay. I'm not trying to be like a perfect line or anything. So lots of little sketchy lines. Now you could do all four, like a set. Um, I'm actually going to do two with the hearts and then I'm going to do two with crosses. I hope everything is okay. It's kind of looking a little bit, a little bit sketchy here. And I've heard from some people, um, that they've been having difficulties when they're going live. So if you, if you've got some difficulties watching this, if it's, if the tech is kind of jumping around, I apologize. I don't know what to do. I've seen it kind of across the board. What I can say though, is inside of our monthly, um, our monthly projects with the paint Okay, y'all, can you hear me now? Kaylee, can you maybe test on your end and see if this is, if you can hear me? I'm sorry, I don't, there have been a lot of issues with um, with StreamYard. That's the, the, I'm using StreamYard right now. Lots of my friends are telling me it's not working great when you go live. Um, but here is what I was saying is the good thing. <laughs> okay, here's the good thing. Um, all of our projects that are in the Paint and Praise Club that I was telling you about, all of those are pre-recorded and upload not into Facebook like this to where things could go wrong. They are uploaded into your private library. So what that means is this is for if you're a lettering club member and you have this, I'm about to tell you how to find these. If you are a, um, if you are, if you join the Paint and Praise Club, you, what you do is you go to pizzazzonline.com, you log in and then you hit my library and they're all there for you. <laughs> so all these technical difficulties that sometimes happen when we are live or when we're using a different platform, those are not there whenever we have our pre-recorded. Um, thanks for hanging in there. Glad you're still here. I think we're back rolling again. Um, so, so what I just did is just did my two hearts, went over them with my, uh, with my pen. I'm now going to move these up for the next two. And I'm going to do um, some crosses, some kind of like whimsical crosses. So I'm going to start with a circle. Then I'm going to put a loop at the top and a loop at the bottom. So the top is a, a shorter loop and the bottom is a bigger loop. Then I'll go to the right and the left, both just more loops. Could do this with pencil first. I'm just doing this with my pen so that you can see. Thank y'all for hanging in there. I see all of y'all answering saying, yes, you can hear me now. Yes, good. I'm so glad. Thank you for hanging in there. Technical difficulties always happen when you're live. <laughs> if, they're, if you're not live, it's like everything goes fine when you're live. All right, so I did that. Now we're going to do some curves here, 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 and here. Okay. You could leave it like this. You, you could, um, on the next one, I'll do it a little bit different. So I could leave this like this. This next one, I'm going to do pretty similar. So I'll start here. Curve at the top. Curve at the bottom. Curve to the right. And curve to the left. Okay, so I kind of started it out pretty similar. Then I'm going to do another curve, 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 curve. Might even do another little circle right there. Okay, so we could keep it as is, or we could do our little um, kind of scallops all around. So just like little bitty curves. And it might be hard to see. I'll pull it up so you can see. This just adds a little bit more 
fanciness. Okay, so however you want to do this. So I've done kind of two that were hearts, two that were crosses, and kind of did the crosses a little bit different. But again, if you are making a set of note cards, you could have all of these the same thing. So that you're just kind of in a rhythm of creating, you know, 10 hearts, 10 crosses, whatever. These are things that you can make to have on hand for when you want to give a gift. You have this kind of personalized card. If you just hopped on late, I will tell you, I did um, look up. This some different standard size of envelopes before I cut my watercolor paper. So I just got my watercolor paper measured, cut. Um, now we're drawing. Next up, we are going to do our lettering and then we will paint. All right. So with a brush pen, I wish I could zoom in, but I can't on this. So here, I will hold it up for you. So on it, I'm going to use just this scrap piece of uh, watercolor paper just to kind of demo some of this. So with a brush pen, when you go up, you can have like light lines and when you come down, it's thicker lines. Okay. So when we are doing kind of this calligraphy style, let's say we do the word hello. We'll go light and when we come down, we're going to press hard so that that down stroke has a little bit of that thickness. Okay. And then we go up and down. Okay. Now this is something that we go over really kind of slow in the lettering club. I at least kind of want to introduce you to that. Okay, so these pens are good for thick and thin. Okay, so let's think. So what are some words? We like kind of quickly brainstorm some words that you may want on a on a card. So you could put, you know, hello, um, thank you. These are just my brainstorming ideas. Thank you. Um, thinking of you. You could just have hi. Um, you could have, let's see, if you've got suggestions, feel free to pop them in. Um, hey there. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I'm just trying to think before I start writing <laughs> to see if there's one that I like better than something else. Um, hey, hey, I could do that. That's what, uh, that's like, that would be for something if I'm just wanting to let somebody know. Hey, here's a little happy. Hey, hey, thinking of you. Uh, hey, y'all. I see Emma says, hey, y'all. Yeah, we can do hey, y'all. Um, uh, let's see. Or we could do just because. I like that one. Because you never know what you're going to be using this for. So it's like dot, 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 just because. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking through what I want to write. And then up on the top, I'm just going to start it. So let's see. I'm going to here. I'm going to do thinking of you. Uh, let's see. All right. So little sentiment at the top with our Tombow marker um, to kind of give it just a little bit of fanciness. Again, you could use a black, you could use a brown. Uh, I'm just kind of doing this and then this area will be where I could write. I'll paint, come back and paint this. So we've got thinking of you. We could do, let's see, hello. Okay, again, small sentiment at the top. Down here is where you could add your writing. Right here, I might do, hey, hey. And on this last one, maybe uh, just because. I might do a just because card. All right, so... All right, so I've got my drawings done. I've got my lettering done. Um, now it is just time to add some simple watercolor. And before you know it, I'm going to have my own little set of customized hand-drawn cards that I can give out to whoever. So let's pop open the watercolors. I'm just using the Crayolas today. 
just using what I got, which I have a lot. <laughs> I use a lot of different kinds all around. It's just like, what do I have on hand right now? All right, so here's the water. Um, I'm not going to do bright, bright red. I'm probably going to take some of this red, pull it over here. Also get some of the white. So I clean my brush. I'm going to get some of this white and pull it down here just to kind of make it a little bit of a softer pink type color. Somebody asked, what is the brand of the brush pan? I did a close up of it a while ago. If you want, after we go live, if you want to zoom in on it, but it's a Tombow um, brush pan. It's a small one. So they have the big, uh, I don't know how to, they have the big brush pans, the dual brush pans, but this is a little bit smaller. It's that word right there. All right. So <clears throat> here is kind of this pink. I will quickly lay it in. It's probably not, doesn't have quite enough pigment, so I'll add a little more red. Sweet and simple. Don't even have to stay in the lines. Sometimes being out of the lines makes it look a little, a little uh, more artsy. Um, a little more carefree and loose. So I've got those two done. Now these, you can paint all one color. You can throw in some different colors. I think, let me think, let me think. Do I want to go bright or stay pale? I think I want to stay in the pale family. So since I've already got some of this pink mixed, let me just do a little bit of the pink. maybe make a little bit of purple and I'll also mix the purple with the white to kind of keep it um to keep it pale so I'll pull over some of this purple grab some of this white and use this kind of pale pale purple going around the edges again not having to feel like I have to stay exactly in the lines okay that uh, being kind of loose with it is going to make it um to look really just kind of painterly and these little the little scallops on the outside I think I might just go back to the pink again and do just do a little bit down there. And there is no way I'm going to try to paint in every little scalp. I'm just going to brush some color on top of that and let those, uh, my pen work do its job of showing you where those scallops are. So right here with all these little scallops, I'm just going to paint quickly uh, just a color. These are very light pale colors you may want to go bright and fun and maybe use black instead of gray it just totally depends on what you're going for um but this technique of cutting you some watercolor paper drawing a simple design there and taking a brush pen and doing a little sentiment at the top are perfect for cards that you can then grab a pen and do a handwritten note and you've given them a handwritten note with a little bit of watercolor, a little bit of lettering, um, just kind of super special. But again, it is a, a good idea if you're going to be putting this into envelopes to check what size envelopes are out there before you cut your paper so that you know you're, you're cutting it to the right side. Um, all right, y'all. I see Emma is asking, um, what could you draw on the side of the card for a congratulations card? Hmm. I don't, I feel like you could still use one of these. Like it doesn't have to be a picture that says congratulations. You know what I mean? It could be like, uh, there be a cross and a heart kind of go for all kinds of type of things. Um, you could have, I mean, cute little animals on there saying <laughs> congrats. You know, there's a lot of different things. The picture doesn't have to necessarily match what you're saying, if that makes sense. So I feel like you could have the heart with the congrats as too. So um, Natalie, I did, I think I just answered your pen, your question about the brand of the brush pen. Um, let's see. Somebody says, do you use the water pens? I bought some, but would like to see you use them. I do use them sometimes. Actually, the... Um, the Koi brush set of watercolors that I love comes with them. So sure, I'll do a demo with that at some point. It's really easy and fun to use those uh, brush pens. The only thing, the brush pens, they come with different size um, 
brush, like little nib type things. Uh, nib is probably the wrong word, but different sizes of the brushes. So you might want to get a variety of that because sometimes you want a small one. Sometimes you want a big one. So um, you might want a variety of different brush pens. Um, all right. Oh, yeah. Leslie had a good idea um, for the congratulations thing, doing a party hat over there. So that'd be cute. Super cute. Um, all right, y'all. That is it that we've got for today. We're going to be trying to come back um, back to you tomorrow at 10 o'clock, too. Um, but for now, that's all we've got. I hope you uh, hope this kind of sparks some sort of little creative idea. Um, maybe encourage you to pick up a few different um, a few different uh supplies, watercolor cards, and create something that can brighten somebody else's day. All right, y'all. See ya, see ya.